So you've chosen a MIG welder, grabbed all the accessories and you're ready to join some metal. How do you go about it? Stay tuned to learn the basics of MIG welding. Before you power up the welder, you'll need to install the wire and set up the wire feeder. Follow closely the instructions that come with your welder and wear eye protection at all times. If you're going gasless, make sure you're installing flux core wire. Once the cover is back in place, attach the earth clamp to the item being welded. Before you touch the gun, ensure you're dressed appropriately with enclosed boots, trousers, long sleeves, welding gloves and a face shield or welding helmet. Also, clear the area of any children, animals or people not involved in the job. Nothing can ruin a weld easier than an unprepared surface, so ensure the metal being welded is thoroughly cleaned of rust using a wire brush or grinder. Remove any paint and wipe away oil or grease with a solvent such as wax and grease remover. Switch on the machine and dial in some settings to begin with. A high current should be used for thick materials and a lower current for the thinner ones. Wire speed is something you'll get a feel for with practice, so be prepared to play around with this setting throughout your practice welds until you can turn out a good result. Before you pull the trigger, try and get the wire length from the tip of the gun between 6 to 10 millimetres. Your gun should be held at approximately a 20 degree angle for flat welds or 45 degrees for corner welds. Lastly, it's important to practice both forehand and backhand welding or push and pull techniques, which will be used across a variety of situations. While in operation, your weld should make a sizzling sound and the gun should travel smoothly without stabbing. Finally, remember to pay attention to the duty cycle of your welder and do not exceed this. Once you're happy with your welds, get a coat of paint or primer over them as soon as possible to prevent corrosion.